Cheers, my name is Natalia and I'm sorry I didn't upload last week but that's because we have some construction workers working on the street right outside our window and they are continuing to cut our power. So no power, obviously, no electricity and no internet which also means that the router that we have has malfunctioned because of the constant power outage so that means we have to buy a new router. <sighs> it's just been a very frustrating week. But anyways, today I'm going to show you something that you requested in the last video that I uploaded and that is this beautiful and decorative hanging air planter and you just place your air plant right in the middle of it and then you just enjoy how beautiful it looks. It's really really easy to create and super decorative and really a great way to display your air plants. And you can make them as big as you like or as small as you like or you can even combine them that's totally up to you now if you don't have any air plants or really don't feel like using them you can use a fake flower or a fake plant place them right in the middle here it would be just as decorative as it would be with the air plants now i would love to know what you want me to create next so be sure to vote here in the poll above and if you want to see some of these kind of DIYs in the future subscribe to this channel and remember to hit the bell button below so don't miss out so let's get started here's what you need Do you have everything ready? Tingerific! Let's begin! Now open up the package and then lay it flat on the table. Now you can either use a rolling pin, a wine bottle or a glass to roll it flat. Choose the rolling device you prefer to work with and then roll it flat until it's 1 cm thick. Measure 10 cm in the ends and then use your box cutter to create a line. Then measure out 25 cm and this time mark it up with your ruler and do the same thing on the opposite side. Now to carve the sides out you can either use your box cutter or you can just use your ruler. Now remove all of the excess bits on the sides until you're left with a perfect rectangular piece. Now find the middle on both ends and then make a teeny tiny mark with your box cutter. From this mark measure inwards 2 cm and then make another tiny mark. And do the same thing on the opposite side. Then take a straw and then place it right on top of the marking and press down. Spin the straw around a few times to carve out the hole, pull it out and then remove the excess clay. Now find the middle of this clay piece, then make a mark, then take the bottle lid and then place it right on top. Now you might notice that the lid doesn't go through and that's because there's air trapped inside of it so you need to create a little hole to let it out. Oh my god, be careful! Sorry, I know! Ooh, I can't watch! When you carefully made a hole in the lid, place it back on the marking and then press down. Then place a bottle on top of your clay and then roll it so the clay piece follows. Then gently remove the lid with your box cutter. And remove the excess clay in the lid. Then leave it to dry on this bottle. Unless you want the planter to be less arched, transfer it onto a bigger bottle. You can even create a tiny version of this planter with all of the excess clay. Now leave them to dry for a couple of hours. You can use some water to smoothen out any clay blemishes. Now when the planter is semi-dried, gently lift it from the bottle and then place it on your table to dry completely. And also do this if you made other planters. Then leave them to dry completely for about a day. When they're completely dried, we need to smoothen out the surface and remove any blemishes with some sandpaper. So smooth them out until the surface is completely even. Then take a damp towel and then just lightly wipe them clean. You don't want to overdo it because the clay might become wet again. And the holes are especially important because this is where the air plants are going to stay. Now the rope I'm going to use isn't thick enough to stay in the hole I created. So I need something like a piece of cork or a twig to stop the rope from sliding through. So I cut a piece of cork. Please be careful. Carefully into. Phew, that's good to know. Then I tied the rope around the cork a few times to secure it. 
But if you're more into the nature and rustic feeling, like I am, use a twig. So tie your rope around the twig a few times, and then it's secured. Then figure out how long you want your hanging planter to be, and then cut your rope accordingly. Then tie a knot around some cork, a twig, or the rope itself. And of course, do this with all of the planters you create. I hope you enjoyed watching, leave a like if you did and be sure to check out these DIYs here to get some more inspiration and if you want to see the upcoming videos in the channel, you need to subscribe and be part of a lovely Tinga family here at Natalia's Toolbox. So subscribe and I'll see you soon with more ideas. Bye!